hello and welcome back let's uh let's do this good intro right can't even get paid for this we got a boomer good ballistas lots of stuff over here uh to keep people busy i'm a little bit worried about our crossbow person like just right away um so let's get let's move shuffle our druid over there i think that uh our hand crossbow person can maybe do some work and i want to poison these lads that's actually great that worked out really well that contagion's gonna work out well uh, what I'd like to do is kill that one dude. Oh, we, we, we have no more movement, so that's a bummer. I wanted to kill this one dude because then I could have our crossbow person just like focus on the boomer. I'll have them kill it, which is fine. We don't have any generated damage yet. There's no one here, so they could actually generate a little bit of damage from killing that person. 4%. It's 4%. Okay, we can kill the boomer. So that's that's a, a weight off my shoulders a little bit. Um, I would love to kill this dude. I think what I'll do is I'll kill this dude. And I'll try and kill this dude. Because then the crossbow person can try and kill this dude. Actually, that's a pretty good explosive bolt. I know that we're going to lose a little bit of damage, but we're going to gain most of it back. I don't think it works like that. It seems to me that if you killed someone who was next to an ally, it supersedes whatever extra like benefit you were building towards, which is kind of lame. Like, just just let me have it. <laughs> um, so let's just like, oh, I shouldn't have killed that guy. I, I really should have just like done as much spread out damage as possible. Now, what I'd love to do is uh, kill, try and do some damage against this guy over here. Let's do some poison damage on him. All right, well, we couldn't kill him, but we did some pretty good damage and he's wounded. So that's, that's good. Now over here, um, I think that we're okay. I'm a little bit concerned about this boomer. Uh, aren't we all, you know? Let's, uh, does this have momentum? It does, so it's gonna kill our momentum, unfortunately. This has range. Important thing, okay, let's just come over here, do like a one offhand attack like that, and then I'm just gonna move back and forward a little bit to build up some damage. Smack, that really isn't what you want, you know? It's, it's not, not enough. I don't want to try and stun them. We did not stun them, but we can kill them. That's good. You really got to prioritize those boomers. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with what I'm seeing over here right now, but, you know, things are going to change very quickly. I, I promise you that. Or uh, we've got a, cr uh, a bowman again. It's been a while been quite a while i i miss the bowman i like the bowman a lot it's funny to me you know like I, I have seen people complain and i don't blame them necessarily about the fact that like you are actually kind of punished for taking some of the meta progression and i think the reason that people say that and i i agree to an extent is because the basic weapons that you start with are actually good like they're really good and you get to know them well enough that anything else just feels like kind of a downgrade it should feel like um you know what it should feel like it is it should feel like uh variety you know something to experiment with i like to experiment with things but because uh, I, I you know and i hate to harp on this 
but because they, they they insisted on the game being a roguelike it means that you're actually less likely to want to experiment because like who the heck wants to experiment when any, every single night is like your potential last like you, if you lose the the you know the risk is so high the weight of of loss is so high who the heck wants to experiment it's just way too punished it's way too punishing um because you just like you don't want to you don't want to lose so you don't want to take any chances so who you know no one no you don't want to take any risks at all um so i i think that uh, you know i i really hate to keep beating this drum but i do think that it was a major mistake to make this game a roguelike it just didn't it didn't benefit them at all <laughs> i don't think um but yeah uh i i get it i kind of understand why people are like annoyed with the meta progression in a way that i had honestly never even considered which is hey i actually don't want to buy these because i like i don't want to experiment who like i don't want to take risks oh it sucks that i i killed them actually that's fine we should be able to kill a bunch of lads over here oh no, no we have a crawler um that's bad actually we need to can i jump over this thing i can here's another thing i don't like as long as we're complaining like incessantly um movement it just doesn't make sense in this game sometimes three movement to jump over this thing versus one action point to shoot it it just feels a little bit uh weird i'm just gonna try and kill that lad i missed twice that's fine his dodge is high i get it uh wow okay well he's gonna get to live for an extra turn but that honestly that just tells me that i did the right thing um getting them over there so let's go ahead and move our spearmen over here you know what i am grateful for i am very grateful for the fact that um traps don't seem to hurt your 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 dudes i can't tell you how much i would not appreciate that game's hard enough <laughs> don't don't be doing that i bet you they thought about it though i bet you it was like a hard discussion i bet you there were people in favor of traps hurting your your allies i i even wonder i even speculate as to whether or not there was like an argument <laughs> you really need to stop missing i i am getting really tired of you missing every single shot dude you're like you're like two or three more misses away from being like thrown away thrown into the bin it would be a horrible waste of investment and time and and resources to uh, work work with you but like your accuracy is awful you really need some better accuracy all right well I might have to move our archer over to the other side because actually things on this side are pretty okay in fact i'm gonna go ahead and do that we have a boomer that's fine let's just uh let's just move them now because like immediately just from doing that uh, uh, they really don't have a lot of movement. Fortunately, they spawned them with an, uh, a movement potion. I really want to... We might... Let's just use another one of those, actually. Because I really want to... Yeah, this is perfect. Look at that. And, uh, the bow and the crossbow work well together. Because that rain of arrows is just made to split people apart i don't know why they can't reach them now they were able to reach them a second ago how come they can't reach them now oh because they had third eye right 
Well, that's really, really unfortunate that they, they were unable to uh, kill those two dudes there. That would have been really, really nice. Um, why don't we go ahead and dedicate like one swarm over there? That'll actually kill those two dudes, maybe. Yep, perfect. And then we can raise up our damage a little bit more. This, uh, this area over here actually kind of sucks a lot. We're up to 26 damage. It's really um, it's not great. I need to not... Uh, uh, yeah, I need to not... Because there's like pl tons of stuff over here that really needs some mass damage. That was great. That was, that was a good shot right there i think uh let's do an entangle on these because I, I you know i need these boomers this boomer and this guardian there to to stay put okay so this crawler here is gonna die from poison this is good there's lots of stuff over here and that's not a good thing for us um might be there might be a good ray like right here yeah yeah actually great ray and we'll come back over here correction we'll come back over here can we we can kill quite a few things over here um i definitely let's just like poison this crawler the nice thing about poisoning the crawler is if they somehow get out of your line of sight if they somehow get close like you know you lose them and uh and they're making their way downtown walking you know down the street um you don't have to worry about them as much because at least the poison will take them out and let's do a blaze actually there's a great blaze like right here perfect i'm feeling pretty good about that all of that our crossbow person unfortunately they don't have a lot of things to shoot at if I move them over here, we can get them to kill that crawler. So I guess I wasted. Wow. That's uh, that's that sucks. <laughs> I, I do want to get them to kill these boomer, the boomer and the crawler, but they're together. And that's the worst when two tough enemies are, are side by side because the crossbow people, they, they just like don't know what to do, really. Okay, let's move over here and see if we can't kill both these lads. Not bad. Um, if I move over here, I should I, ha I have a good flurry of strikes available to me. Just to clean up a little bit. And if I move over here, I build up that momentum and then kill these two lads. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about that now. Um, Maybe we want to swap back to our scepter and just like see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm not, I really don't know how I feel about the scepter, but it's fine. We don't have to harp on that. Actually, what I should have done is a, yeah, there's a pretty good um, rain of arrows right there. Nice. All right. Yeah. I think this side is actually really good um, with just these two people. I think they'll take care of it quite nicely. Um, and I think that that's, that's why those teleporters are so useful because you can really assess like, hey, what side is needing more help? And instead of two turns um, to help, it's only one turn. Okay, so those two uh, beefy dudes actually got split up just now, which is great. diagonally but that that's enough for our crossbow person to be able to help okay we got an elite over there that might be a problem but i don't think it, i i think i think we'll be fine kind of want to do a hammer of faith here but i actually wonder if this wouldn't be better let's let's try this we'll see how well it does that was that was great. Now we, we don't have to worry about anything. We can switch, swap back to the scepter, kill this dude. Yeah, that's working out pretty well. Run back over here, kill this dude. 
we could give them a bit bit more movement just so that we can uh you know make sure they we get the most out of their turn miss that's fine oh no i missed uh do we have a good rain of arrows not really well three i guess three is worth it okay um move him over here we have a good kill right there and actually yeah move over here i wonder if a triple uh, swipe no that's not it if we move them here we can do a flurry of strikes Cool. That guardian is dead. And then we can... Oh, we can't move him back, unfortunately. We could do a hammer of faith, though. Perfect. Oh, my God. It's like I know what I'm doing. It's like I know what I'm doing now. It's a good feeling. Um. All right. So over here, it's looking a little bit spicy. I won't lie. Uh... Let's um let's do some rain of arrows. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can't do a rain of arrows over here. Cuz I want to split up the those guys from the basic enemies. That's not terrible. It could be better for sure. But I'm going to take it because now these three beefy dudes are separate from each other and that means that we can uh have the crossbowmen do some do some good work that one blocker dude is is uh, managing to keep me from doing the most i can do third eye oh cool um oh we can we can kill this guy and they'll contagion some poison nice all right. Now, um, there is unfortunately this lamppost right in the way. So it is going to cause some problems for me. Let's just move over here. I have six movements, so I should be able to back up. They, they died. They exploded. They did some more damage. We kill that guy. We kill that guy. We didn't kill that guy. Wow. That's okay. Then we kill this dude. Don't stop. We're getting there. <laughs> Kill that dude. Yes. And then we'll move them back. All right. Um, right. I'm going to leave that side alone for now. I think that it's okay. And I'm going to focus our druid over here. There's a boomer that we have to worry about. I might use an entangle to just choke off the boomer a little bit. Uh, that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse as well. All right, let's do an entangle here. And I'm just, I am going to focus our, uh, crossbowman on just the boomer. And I'm also going to use another entangle just to, just to absolutely choke up this entire section. Um... All right, so now if I can hit that boomer, I will. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, which is really unfortunate. Um, all right, well, okay. We can, I think it's worth it. We're going to hit them as hard as we can. It sucks because uh, we would have gotten way more damage in with the initiator. So they're dead from the uh, the poison. It would be cool if uh, enemies could like move before the poison, but that's fine. All right, you know what? Again, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I think that things are going really well. Uh, we still have stuff we could do with him, but they, they don't have the movement to get it to anything meaningful. Oh, look. Our, our, I forgot that that guy had that poison. Oh, God, no. Don't let them attack. Don't let them attack first. Please don't let the boomer... They, they will just murder that guy right away. Uh, 
please. Three boomers. Okay, they didn't get they, they didn't get to attack. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That is merciful. Okay, we need to make short work of these guys. I guess I should have dedicated two swipes to this guy. Sucks that I didn't. Maybe just a punch. They have what? 200 damn health? Yeah, that's not going to do it. I actually think that a hammer of faith. I oh my god. I dude, I need you to die. All right. The punch is going to do it there. Um Oh, we're gonna have a really good attack right here. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it was good. Question mark. All right, well. Hey, that was pretty good. I, I liked that. Okay, let's uh, back up a little bit. Can we kill this guy with just a scepter move? Oh my god, dude. All right, well, you managed to, to do it. Uh, you know what would be really nice? Is if you could stun both of these dudes. I know it's a high, it's a tall order. But hey, you are beautiful. You're back on. You're back on the team, bud. I wasn't sure about you, but that that last one saved your butt we don't have enough action points to do a beasting unfortunately um but i think that centipedes might be better than our other move because it's got opportunism and stun counts towards opportunism yeah not not enough but hey you know i'll take it there is some stragglers over there that i'm slightly concerned about Okay, uh, how, how is this all doing? I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to kill. Just like killing off whatever I can reach from where I am. I guess if they don't move, they, they get uh, more accuracy. I've been moving them around quite a lot, haven't I? Uh, I did that so I could get the third eye because there's like a perfect shot right there. Didn't kill them, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'll take it. Actually, I should have killed the, the guy with poison, shouldn't I have? Because then he would have spread the poison. And then we can kill... We'll kill this lad and they'll spread the poison. And then that kills the other guy. Nice. Uh, crossbow person, they still have some action points left, but let's see what we can accomplish with our druid. Oh, there's a, there's a couple of guardians in the back there I should, uh, focus on. Uh, the poison propagated in the wrong way, but that's fine. Yes. Opportunism is working out well. Let's move our crossbow person over. So they can kill... Actually, who do we want to kill? We can kill this lad, I suppose. You know what? It's late enough in the night. Let's just, let's just like, you know, nip this in the bud. And to hell with our damage. It's fine. Uh, I, th I think we're, I think we're good, you know? Nice line up here. Unfortunately, we got a crit on that first one. That's the problem with taking that perk that gives you crits when you're initiating because when you're initiating is when you don't want to kill people. Um, Because then we lose our initiator perk. Let's see if uh, maybe a blaze can just take out a bunch of these guys. Nice. That wasn't bad. All things considered, not terrible. We still have stuff for our... Oh, nice. That was cool. Uh, we still have stuff for everyone over here to do, which is good. I wouldn't mind just like, letting our crossbow person kill a few people because like they are initiator and they tend to not get kills, you know? 
they tend to be someone who sets up kills for our crossbow person so it would be nice to let them have kills same with their druid honestly i it occurs to me that they probably don't get a lot of kills um because they're oh that was the wrong button sorry about that they tend to just like set up a bunch of mass damage um let's uh just like let our druid Actually, this isn't a druid. This is a receptor person. What do you mean miss? The dude is like a fat lad. I, I swear to God, we really need to do something about their accuracy. Okay, um, you know, could be better, honestly. All things considered. I guess we could move someone back over there. Eh, not worth it. We'll just let the ballistas take care of it. Someone out there gets XP for that. I don't know who. S. Nice. Uh, some people are leveling up faster than others, but everyone's getting some XP, so I'm cool with it. Nice. S. Two S's. I really hope... I, I know this is like a very bold or selfish of me to say, maybe. But I really hope I win on my first try. <laughs> Because I, uh, I, the, the first few stages of this town are really rough. And um, once you're established, then it, it just feels like, you know, it feels comfortable. Once you're set up, it's, it's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, once again, I am asking you to convert that corpse into materials and gold. Uh, and is there anyone hurt? No one is hurt as far as I can tell. I kind of wish that that reading was up here as well. I wish it would tell us health and I, it shows us mana. Why not also stick the health bar up there? You know, it just like gives us a better reading. Um, I guess we'll dedicate a worker towards this, but you know, there's only, there's only two other heroes that needed that mana. I do think we're going to need to build an extra mana well this time. Um, we're gonna do guess where Real information has not changed really uh, and then we're gonna do repel mist I do think that that is worth doing as much as possible uh, If we keep doing that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it at max distance uh, Your yeah, prowess has been accomplished yay Rejoice. Do you know there's another one like you? Alas, so she revealed herself to thee. I don't have an understanding of her devious schemes. Know that she is but a bane of the orbs. A fair warning. Don't let her gluttony corrupt thy heart and mind. Get some information on uh, the other one. Okay. Can we... Do we have enough to afford anything interesting? No, we don't. More rare level up. Well, I'll throw my points towards it. No point not doing that now that I started it up, you know? Um, okay, we got tons of materials. We do have some workers left. Uh, I think... So if I was to upgrade both of these materials, that would, that would assume that we're going to put four workers towards materials. It's a bold assumption because there's plenty of other things that we need to put workers towards. That being said, um, I do want to build a mana well. Uh, we'll throw it down like there, I guess. It's not a terrible place for it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we can, uh, we can put walls around the center. I think we should do that. Uh, I know this is, we shouldn't be doing that now. But with that in mind, I think I do want to at least throw two workers at materials. Um, throwing workers at the gold, at gold wouldn't be a terrible idea. Is there any... I was just wondering if maybe there was a reason we could... Uh, is there is If there's a way we could get another hero. But it looks like six is the maximum you can get, which is kind of... 
doesn't feel like a lot if you ask me i do kind of i want to build another armor master because we always need more armor you know a lot of other stuff is questionable and actually throwing a uh, quite a bit of money at upgrading these wouldn't be a terrible idea um So actually, let's throw two workers at gold. Um, and then I'll throw my last two workers. Kind of don't want to throw my last two workers at materials, if I'm being honest. Kind of just want to throw them at gold. Oh, there is a... No, these are just like basic ones. Not really worth the materials. Um... I mean, we, there's tons of things left to destroy. Like, these shrines would probably be worth it. Uh, actually, they're not really worth it. Uh, jeez. Hmm. Honestly, well, it takes two workers to give us one armor. What we could do is... For 40 gold, we could get two random armor pieces. Actually, no, never mind, because we'd have to upgrade it again. Upgrades passive production items created or crafted equals two. So we'd get two more armor pieces in the next two nights. Uh, I'd rather take our money and buy some actual equipment. We've got a pretty good rusty shield here. Let's buy that rusty shield. I think that that would be good for one of the people that has momentum. I'm pretty sure our the scepter person could do with that. Um, this is a good longbow. But, oh, here we go. Here's a short bow. We don't have enough money for it. We could sell some stuff, though. We still have one worker. Why don't we go ahead and throw that at, at money? And I'm pretty sure we could afford it now. No, but we're close enough now that it uh, it doesn't matter. We could we can just sell a bunch of stuff. There we go. We buy the short bow. Good, good business. All right. Um, let's get equipped. Scepter person. Where is scepter person? There, there they are. So let's give them uh, a rusty shield. That sword has never done them any good at all. So that's actually just a straight up benefit. And it's going to give them a lot of block. I don't think that they're the person that benefits from block, but hey, not bad. And uh, what else did we have to give up? No, I guess that's it. Well, we do have a lot of items to go through. So let's go through those items. We've got a better hat. Frost mage armor. Less move points. More opportunism, more block, more mana. Not terrible. Actually pretty good. Less move points doesn't matter as much. It could give that to, um, not Florian, Albrick. Let's see what they have. They've got really good armor. It's, uh, they've got really good armor. So I don't, I'm not sure who would this be good for? Less, less movement is kind of, like, really bad. Uh, we could give this to Joanna. I wonder if, the, if uh, Florian... Yeah, uh, you know what? Why don't we give it to Florian? The opportunism is kind of a waste on her. I, I actually think that it's going to be better for... Uh, or is it Joanna? Because the thing is, is it gives physical damage and magic damage, which I'm pretty sure the scepter uses. Less movement sucks, but she already has less movement. So I think that this will be good for her. Rusty hammer. Uh, a rusty hammer. Spear. <laughs> These all suck. I'm going to reroll them. Um, uh, I mean, I'll take something, but I'm, I'm going to probably sell those we've got shields i just got a shield probably take pants because i could always use better pants i'm not very good at like remembering to give people better pants less dodge 
Oh, extra movement. I, I like these worn pants in the center there. They're, they're pretty good. Joanna, we really need to get you some better accuracy if we can. Health reliability. Extra mana is interesting. Eh, let's just let's just give her some better pants. Um Thomas. Thomas could use some better some more mana, maybe. Honestly, let's just double check to make sure that our yeah, our go-to guy, Albrecht. He could use uh it's only gonna give him three more mana it's really not gonna be make as, as much of a difference as, as uh in the hands of someone who's gonna get their hands dirty a bit more like for instance okay so florian's fine he's actually got really good pants we could give them to joanna joanna's actually got better armor though so i guess we'll just give him to thomas now we have to figure out who wants this frost mage armor. Uh, I think I settled on Joanna having that. Yeah, I think that this is just very good for her. Now we have some better armor we could throw onto someone. Maybe Thomas. Now Thomas got some pretty good armor. Maybe Patience then. Patience uh, would actually benefit pretty pretty much pretty pretty well. All right, let's level her up. Extra crit is going to be fine. Uh, daily health regen. I don't know. I just did this complaint. I don't know if that helps her or not, so I just don't care. Let's reroll these. Reliability, sure. Reliability is what you end up getting. Uh, like every time that you've rerolled twice, <laughs> you've used up all your rerolls. Okay, Florian. Florian with the damage. Resistance reduction, doesn't he benefit from that? No, that's someone else. No, let's just give him the damage. I guess that health would have been good for him too, huh? No, he, he benefits from extra block. If we can get him extra block, then we will. Um, let's actually re-roll those. Uh, critical... Let's re-roll them again. Oh my god. Awful. Awful. Okay, um... Inertia? We could give them an inertia. Uh, next time a... The next time a skill with momentum is cast, restore two movement points. That's actually really good for them. Okay, Thomas. Thomas, you need something specific, don't you? Initiator. I was ex I guess I was maybe looking at exploit weakness, but I think I was looking at that for the bow person. Um, critical hits maybe. We could give you we could make you a crit master. Your crit right now is not great. I won't lie. But since you attack more people, you have a better chance of increasing that. The odds are actually in your favor. What's your dodge like? Your dodge is actually really good. Giving you more dodge wouldn't be a terrible idea. Ooh, increase multi hits by one. There you go. That's really nice. Buildings with free actions. Uh, well, we don't really need to do that. I don't think... I think everyone's at full health. One eighty-five, two sixty. Yeah, I think everyone's at full health, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, definitely, we're going to want to build up some more defenses. How many... So we, we can build six more ballistas. Um, so I think we want to put them it'd be at least a couple more on this side despite the fact that they're in like the worst positioning ever uh, you know what let's go ahead and build a couple mounted ballistas i 
I know I'm building it right up against the wall again, so I'm not going to be able to put walls in front of them. I'll be able to put some barriers, but I, I just don't think it's going to make a big difference. And let's go ahead and upgrade them. Let's make sure all of this is upgraded. Okay, that's not bad. Um, if they are indeed coming at the angle that they're showing, then I shouldn't need any more ballistas on this other side. And I do want all of the sides to be fairly balanced. Uh, and I think what I'd like to do, I mean, I'd, first of all, let's repair. Repair the traps. 50 materials to get all your traps back is just very good. But yeah, let's throw down some more traps over here. Doing them like diagonally like this is, I think, a, a pretty good method. I guess I could have done better there. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess we could have put more traps on this side, but I think that we've got more defenses this side, for, like from ballistas. Okay, so the only thing left is we have to figure out where everyone's going to go. That is definitely a concern. Um... Based on the angle here, I'm pretty sure we can dedicate like one, maybe one person here or something. I don't know. Like it's not, it's not great. And there's all this junk in the way. Um, there's these trees in the way, so we can't really put a crossbow person. I guess we could put our crossbow person there. We could put them like right here and then they can reach over here and they can probably reach over here maybe we'll put them actually closer to this action might be good um we'll put maybe our spearman here no let's let's put our hand crossbow person here and patience maybe can go Kind of tempted to just put patience here because she's great at splitting people up or maybe just here these uh this is a great combo and then uh florian will go here they might have to watch that on their own um our druid is over here god this place over here sucks and joanna Joanna with the other druid and both of them comboing together could be kind of fun. I mean, it's a good, this is a good place for the druid because um, his entangle is going to be super duper effective because if it slows down uh, enough like zombies to choke an entire, uh, you know, section here then they have no choice but to flow over to the other side and um that just gives us more time to kind of react so i think that that'll actually work out really well all right um there's nothing left to do here i'm i'm gonna call it uh if you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy